trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. we got another great interview coming up for you in just a moment. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell down there. And uh, anytime a new episode comes your way, you'll be notified so you can check that out. And uh, if you want to, you can leave a comment on the comment section. We'd love to hear from you there. And if you're on Facebook, go to facebook.com forward slash TV. And you can follow us there. Send us an inbox, comment the things you see there. And we'd love to hear from you on email as well. If you'd like, go to palmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And if you're a band or solo artist that wants to be part of the show, just send us an email and we'll show you how to do that. But uh, we always welcome fan mail as well. So if you're a fan, just go ahead and send us a letter and we'll get back to you. And all this is going to be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From Sheridan, Indiana, for the second time on our show, we have Ma Bell with us. We had her on the show about four years ago, and so he, she's here to give us some updates, and uh, I think you're going to like her. And uh, without further ado, let's start the show, because it starts right now. Okay, here we are, and with us uh, the, for the second time on our show from Sheridan, Indiana, we have Ma Bell with us. Uh, thanks for coming back on the show, Ma. Thanks for having me on here. Yeah, no problem. And uh, it was about four years ago we had her on the show, and uh, I think it's about time for an update anyway. So. <laughs> There's a lot of updates. <laughs> well, why, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about what, what you've been doing since uh, since you were on the show last time? A lot's happened. Um, I don't know if you know, I actually started um, this small bell thing thinking it wouldn't be very long, but... It seems to be sticking, and I actually have a motto for my character now. And because I myself have gone through so much, like I've been sick, and you know, I didn't have confidence in myself. I started doing competitions, and I learned to get a lot of confidence and character. And I become somebody else when music plays where you want. But um, so my motto now is actually never too old to dream. And when I go out, that's what I try to encourage everybody of all ages. Like if you're young, start now. If you're older, don't give up. Start now. And um, so, and now I am actually, I went through a period that I was very ill and um, I almost died several times and it was music that saved me really literally I wrote my first song oh what a friend when I was at my lowest point in life so now I am actually going out to churches if anybody would like Ma Bell I'm starting to go out and tell some of my story and when I do festivals and things I'm trying to encourage people and um, I think that that's kind of my gift is to make people laugh and to encourage people. People get so down in everything that everybody's gone through. So that's what I'm most excited about right now, about what Ma Bell's doing. I actually have gone out and performed. Um, I sang the song, Tell the Mountain, and there was a lady that had cancer, and she was just so precious, and she came up to me crying. And then there's another lady that was just so down in the dumps that she was singing with me and dancing with me. So that's my hope that I can go out and um, spread some joy and encouragement and um, hope. So very excited for what the future's bringing. I actually booked a lot more this year. I have um, shows every month throughout the summer. And like I said, now I'm working on my gospel set. I hope my goals for this this year is to release my first CD because I've not done that yet. And um, my, my goal by next year is to tour. So we've made some, we've made some commitments. And I think right now that I now finally have the courage and the confidence to go out and do what I feel I'm called to do. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're still doing your thing, my bell, and I uh, hope you'll be doing a lot more uh, over the years. And uh, I think I heard you say something about uh, you were doing some uh, shows and things like that. Um, 
Uh, uh, where exactly will you be in? You can let everybody know where you'll be in. Maybe they can catch you in the show. I will be um, in May. I think it's the 23rd. Oh, it's that Wednesday. I leave the 23rd. But it's that Wednesday. I'll be at Music City uh, Bar and Grill down there on Music Valley Drive in Nashville. And then um, that Sunday, I'll be at Duncan Chapel for May, which is in Kentucky. I wish I'd wrote all this down and had it for you, and I can't think of it, but maybe we can share that with your video later. Mm -hmm. um, or or it's going to be on Law Bell's page. So for now, I guess that my link to my Facebook page is Ma Bell at Fishing Blues, and you can tell who I am because of the fishing app. But I'm going to try to get that together. I'm also working on, hopefully in the future, getting a website where all this will be posted. But for now, everything goes on Ma Bell's uh, Facebook. But I know that in, um, there's just so many shows. I know July 7th, I'll be in my hometown, Sheridan, and I'm really excited about that. And I will also be, I, oh, I'll be in Temple Hill, Kentucky, down at Helms Landing at that church. I love that church. It's my church away from home. And then, I don't know, I go out, I will be in Loretta Lynn's Ranch in August. And I also will be somewhere else in August. <laughs> I can't remember them all. You know, as you get older, you kind of forget. But we'll try to get that organized for you, Paul, where we can share that when we share the video. I'll try to get you the dates there and where I'll be with addresses. Okay. Uh, well, we'll repeat that address again where we can find you on Facebook. It's, it's, I know it's Ma Bell. Is it just Ma Bell? Or? It's, it's Ma Bell at Fish and Blues. Official? And Fish and Blues. And the reason it came up that way is because the whole Ma Bell started from my song Fishing Blues. So it's Ma Bell at Fishing Blues Facebook page. And um, so you can definitely find her and I hope everybody will like my page. And if anybody would like me to come, I would absolutely love to do that. So. Okay, well, is, is all, all your songs on streaming uh, for those that might want to get your music? Well, that I'm trying to get better at, too. <laughs> I, all, all my music is on my mobile page. And, I, you know, we're trying to get better at social media. As okay. you know, I'm a little bit older and I'm a little bit slower. But we're working on getting that out there. But almost uh, quite a few of my show videos are there. And um, the music that I've written and sang. And, and we do have some platinum hits now under our belt. Um, America She's Crying now has three platinums, and Freedom Truckers got two, and some things just aren't supposed to be as another platinum that my mom, Amy Bell, wrote. So, but we're going to get better at that, and I'll just let you know. I think, like I said, I didn't, I didn't ever think I would actually be able to chase my dream, but it looks like I'm going to. So, and we're going to, we're going to go for it. Um, you know, money's always a factor, and um, but we're just going to believe that it's all going to work out, and we're going to go. Okay, well, that sounds good. Now, go to Ma Bell's uh, page on Facebook. Uh, I'm sure you won't be disappointed, and I know she will love you for that, too. And uh, we're just getting ready to play this uh, video. You recorded this live, obviously. It's a Loretta Lynn cover of uh, You're Not Woman Enough to Take My Man. And uh, and I remember her singing that years ago. Uh, was there a special reason for doing this song? Or maybe you can tell a little story behind this. Well, I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of changes with me. Um, it, and this is really kind of unique. My dad was always singing the old country stuff. But when I was a teenager, I was not. And he was always like, you're giving me a headache with the things that I sing. And he would actually be laughing at me now because now that I'm older, I absolutely love the old country. But I also try to make it a variety, too, because I'm throwing now a little gospel. I want to throw a little oldies in there. I want something for everybody at my show that somebody can have fun with, somebody will know, and somebody can sing along with. And Ma Bell now is telling stories and jokes and trying to trying to just make it a fun time for everybody okay well i, I know you'll love this version of it from ma bell and um, we'll get to that in just a second but uh ma bell it's been great having you back on a second time come back on a third time whenever you have something new to plug and maybe we'll come and have you back on again 
I think we should do it again, Paul. We're friends. <laughs> okay. Well, here's uh, You're Not Woman Enough to Take My Man, the uh, Red Lynn cover by Mom Bell, and it starts right now. Here we go. I'm here to tell them something. You've come to tell me something. You say I ought to know that he don't want me anymore and I'll have to let it go. Oh, but I don't think you can take it. So get out while you can. Cause you ain't woman enough to take my man. Women like you, they're a dime of tools and you can buy them anywhere. For you to get to him, I have to move over and I'm gonna stand right here. It'll be all for my dead body, so get out while you can. Cause you ain't woman enough to take my man. Now you listen right here, fella. Sometimes men go where they should not go. You know better. I talked to you about that. Now listen. Sometimes a man caught looking at things that he don't need. He took a second look at her, but he's in love with me. Now I don't know where that leads you, but I know where I stand. Cause you ain't woman enough to take my man. Don't give me that. Listen here. Women like you, they're a dime a dozen. You can buy them a dollar general. <laughs> you gotta get out of town. <laughs> anyway, I lost my word. <laughs> It'll be over my dead body. So get out while you can. Cause you ain't woman enough to take my man. Women like you are a dime a dozen, you can buy them anywhere. For you to get to him, I'd have to move over and we quit right there. <laughs> okay, hey.